My name is Robert Longyear. I'm an artist here in St. Louis. I've come to really enjoy this, this big little city we all live in. I'm dealing with our body as a person who makes jewelry. And you know, our, our, our bodies are our most intimate landscapes. And yet at the same time, I'm, I'm dealing with landscape and, and all things that um, exist in a landscape. So there be, came this, this sort of rather obtuse relationship of our bodies as people and the architecture that we, we choose to exist within, uh, the architecture that you know, allows for our activity or, or protects us or you know the the walls that um, we set up for ourselves. And in this case, it was a whole lot of brick that that made these walls. And you know, so you're inside these buildings as a body. Yet with the jewelry, it, it sort of subverted all that, where our bodies kind of um, protect or, or carry the, the the sort of social comment that that's involved in the making of a jewelry object and I really enjoy that that kind of um, play the the subversive nature of it the um, it's almost sort of confusing it, it's it's the other side of the coin uh, so it, at some point to, to really I think take that one step further it, it became well if I'm relating our bodies and spaces um, and sort of yearning to, to kind of make the next jump in, in context for the jewelry beyond the body and how that can be presented uh, as sort of the, these venerated objects uh, in a gallery setting, it, it, it became sort of apparent that I, I needed to approach the idea of, of installation work and um, bring the jewelry you know, to the space with the context and, and you know the, there, there's there was quite a, a beginning in all of that that idea of the installation the, the next jump was to sort of put this this work in front of you know an audience and people that are going to experience the work and, and have it in a space that can speak to where the work comes from yet present it in a way that that's egalitarian um, that's democratic and, and people can really begin to draw their own conclusions and bring their lives to the work and, and I think at some point as an artist that you know that becomes sort of the defining sort of reason that that maybe we we do these things that we do and you know you there's something I think beyond the labor and beyond the you know the the intellect behind work, and and, and there's this this thing that wells up um, within you uh, as a personality making the work, and, and within the the audience that you know shares in the work with you, and, and it, it it transcends somehow and um, becomes relevant um, both you know to a society and and on a personal level with these people and the, these interactions that you get with a single person that, that comes through you know to see the work or you know but I guess the the big message is you know it, no matter kind of what I do or or how I go about work you know you, you never just like do something else you, you very much become something else so you know there, there's that that root kind of in jewelry um, that I work from and you know, I would argue that the the main message in my work is is in the craft and that principled response that I talk about, and what I can do with um, metals on a small scale. Yet, you know, it, so in a sense, I, I'm sort of ending with my beginning a lot of the time, and and, and sort of giving uh, voice to a, a larger practice that's that's developing.